into another uh, animation uh, tutorial for a computer animation class and we're going to go over uh, in this assignment is going over some t simple uh, text animation um, type things we can do with text um, as we kind of go ahead in our course and so um, I think I'm going to flip this around a little bit when I do my next demo piece and maybe do the summers part above the Spartans that might make a little more sense and read a little easier. Um, so let's go ahead to start a new uh, project, Action Script 3. We'll keep that. Um, so, what we want to start with is we want to start by using our type or text tool right here. So, I'll take that T, click and drag to make a text box, and I'm going to type Summers, all capital locks on here. And um, once we press or click on our selection arrow, that will give us our text solidified. So I can shrink that text box so that it fits um, tightly. Just kind of bringing this into the middle here. So, okay, so first effect um, that we're going to go over is just um, taking our text, breaking it apart, and distributing it to layers. So basically, once you have your text created, you want to hit Command B on your keyboard, and that will break apart your word into individual letters. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll right click on all those letters, and we'll go down to Distribute to Layers. And what that does is it creates a new layer for each one of our letters here. Okay, so each one of these letters, actually now what we're going to want to do is convert into a graphic. Okay, so we're going to go to this first uh, S here, and it always is, it is kind of funny. So they're upside down actually. So the first S is on this bottom layer. Um, it doesn't really matter too much. We're going to go to F8. We'll put uh, S for the graphic and say OK. Then I'll go to the O layer. I'll press F8 on my keyboard and make this an O graphic. Um, then go to the M, press F8 on my keyboard, M, enter. Go to the E, F8 on my keyboard, E, R. And then this will be S2. Okay. So uh, ultimately what we're going to have is these uh, the letters of the word summers kind of drop into position here. So I'm actually just going to take all these and I want to find about where I think the final spot I want them to drop is. Right about here I think works and then the Spartans will come in underneath it. Okay, so um, this is the final spot that these are going to be. So basically what I'm going to do is actually take and highlight all of these um, keyframes here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually I think um, first what I'll do is I'm going to open up the frames here. So I'm actually going to click on the 40th frame. Uh, this layer 1 is just the layer we started with so I don't need to select that. Hold shift and click on the bottom layer. And I'm going to press F5 on my keyboard to open up the frames that we have for animation here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, copy all these frames. So I'm going to select all of them, right click, copy these frames. Go down to this 40th here, select, and I will paste these frames right in. Okay, so right now what we should have is um, the letters all here, but also uh, on this first frame. So actually what we'll do is we'll take and select all these now, and now on this first frame we can click and drag all these upwards. Okay, so now we have um, them here and then there. And now we're just going to do the animating part of them dropping. So essentially all these are going to be on classic tweens because we're just having them drop in, right? So I'm going to right click uh, having all those frames selected and go create classic tween. And so what that's going to do is it's going to cause all these letters to uh, come down in here at once. Um, okay, but that's not very interesting. What I'm going to try and do is create a staggered effect. So this first S here is going to come down first, okay, and then um, the O will come in second. All right, so um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back uh, this part, the uh, kind of the dropping part, the resting part of this animation um, to the fifth frame, okay, and then I'm going to take the O and I'm going to pull that back to the tenth frame. 
All right, now this is a two click process. So I click once to select the frame and then click on it a second time and drag it to the 15th. And then I'll take uh, the E and drag it back to the 20th. I'll take the R, drag it back to 25, and then the S and drag it back to 30. Okay, so now we got those nicely staggered. So when they drop in here, they drop in one at a time. Now um, we could also take and just change this positioning of our first letter so that these actually come in from the side. So if we want to, um, okay, so I'll just test preview that. So look at that, we got letters dropping into place. Um, nice little simple animation. Um, so let's try something else actually. If we want, we can also take these letters all right, selecting all those on that first keyframe there, and I can move them over to the right here. All right, so off to the right side of our stage. Now let's see what happens in this instance. So the letters overlap a little too closely. Okay, so let's preview this again. So they overlap a little closely, but you can see they're moving straight over right under that spot. Another interesting effect. But now what we need to do is actually stagger the beginning of these frames. So what I need to do is have this O not come out until the S is actually over. And then the M needs to come out right around here where this frame is actually out. So then I'll take this E, move this one over to where this frame is. R, switch it up to there. And then lastly, this S coming over. So now when I play this, we see the letters come over sideways. So another interesting effect, just slightly tweaking um, the positioning of the lettering. All right, so now let's go over that last part, which is um, we'll actually use this layer one for, um, and just taking our text tool and just having text and large go from small to big. So um, what we're gonna do is we wanna uh, make a new text box. I thought I had my type tool selected. Oops, seems to be getting hung up here on something. Okay, so I want to be on that first keyframe of layer one. All right, there we go. And so next we want to put uh, Spartans. All right, represent. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select all this font. We have all our font uh, properties and options over here. Um, your font. Um, family, you can choose over here. I'm going to keep the same one. Um, you also have your size of your font, which I can, um, I'm going to enlarge a little bit. I want this part to be just a little bit bigger. Um, and then if I want to adjust my text box, just kind of click, hover my mouse over the edge of it there. And you can choose your color here too. Um, if you want to choose from any array of colors, you click on the color picker box. Oop, that dropped down there. All right, so maybe I will choose um, something little more like a, uh, what did I do before? Oh, I had the, the red and then like the gray, right? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna take um, the Spartans and choose like this dark gray color. Okay, cool. So um, really simple effect that we're going to apply to this. Um, basically, I just wanna make sure that this is lined up correctly here. Okay, so this is going to be the final frame, right? the Spartans uh, big. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a graphic, converge to F8, I'm gonna go uh, Sparta, and we'll say okay, all right. And then this frame actually, I'm gonna go ahead, right click, and copy this frame, and then I'm going to go down to the end of my animation here, where this 30th frame is, right click, and paste that frame in. Okay, so it looks like the size is actually pretty good. Um, basically then what I'm gonna do is just go back to this first frame where this graphic is. I'm gonna take my free transform tool and I'm gonna shrink this really small. Watch out because actually one thing that was happening before is if you shrink something too small, it can flip your text backwards. Weird thing, right? I think it happened right there. It's hard to see when it happens exactly, but um, so that's really tiny, really hard to see when we're zoomed out. Um, but basically we just want that to go from small to big. So now we're just going to go ahead and create another classic tween and we can see that Spartans kind of come in big. All right. So actually I need to add some frames to the end of this. So I'm going to hit F5 at the end there. 
So that'll come in and, and hold. Okay, so let's run this animation back real quick. So and we have a nice simple text effect animation. Um, I think actually what I might want to do too is we can take this first frame, the tiny word Spartans, and I'm just nudging it off the edge of the page, holding the shift key, and then pressing the down key on my keyboard. And now that's going to swoop in kind of from the bottom of the stage, which is kind of a nice touch too, to have the blank screen and everything kind of swoop in. All right, so there we go, covering the text tool and some uh, simple animating of different text effects. All right.